So, you're developing a mod pack and you're not satisfied with the number of curio slots available. What do you do? At the time of recording this, I could not find any working examples online. So I looked at KubeJS. KubeJS can do all sorts of scripting, control logic, and this is what I came up with. So, once you install KubeJS, looks like this. Navigate to your uh, pack folder. You're going to go to uh, your instance name, kubejs, in kubejs server scripts, and then you're going to create a .js file. It can be named whatever you want. Uh, in this case, mine's named Curio Setup, and I'm editing in VS Code, and this is what I have. This will be posted in a pastebin in the description, but basically we're looking at player events. We're writing a script to look at player events, grabbing the player name, writing some stuff for the log for debugging purposes, checking to see if the player has uh, an arbitrarily named stage. Uh, in this case, I named it Curious Slot Added. New players joining the server for the first time will not have this stage. Uh, so the script is adding the stage to them, writing some more stuff to the log. And then here, this is what we really care about, the server is running commands. So it's running, uh, in this case, I'm running Curious Add Belt to the player name. Curious add ring and curious remove head. So we'll log back here to Minecraft, save and quit, load up a new world, uh, make sure this is saved, it is saved, create new world, creative, super flat, and because this is a brand new world, my character will not have logged into this world before, and the commands should have run. And let's see if they did. Looks like they did. I no longer have a helmet slot. I have an extra ring and an extra belt slot. And that should be applicable to everybody that logs into a new world. And we'll just log back into the same world once, confirm that it's not double counting. Logged in again. I uh, still have four rings and two belts. So there you go. I uh, hope that helps. Good luck.